Hello, welcome to episode 236 of the Epic Film Challenge. We bought a zoo. Went to see this in the cinema, and it is the new film from Cameron Crowe, one of my favourite directors. It is about a family, or a father and his two daughters, his wife's passed away, and uh, to kind of make a new start. Two daughters? In... Two daughters, I just said two daughters. Yeah. It's probably because I'm just thinking about the daughter who is the probably one of the best characters in the film. Um, the sun is brilliant too. Yeah, the sun's pretty good as well. Two kids. But when, when I think son. about the film, I think about the little girl because she's really cute and funny. And yeah, so him and his daughter and his son, they try and make a new start. Uh, his wife's been, uh, been gone for about a year. And he tries to uh, buy a new house and it turns out this new house that the kids love, or no, the daughter loves. Six months, wasn't it? Or six months. <laughs> um, the daughter really loves the house and it's a great house, but the, the hitch is it's actually attached to a zoo which he has to take on if he buys the house, so he, on a whim he decides to do it and then that's what the whole film is about basically. And uh, I felt like um, it was a really good film. I read a few reviews where they said that it was like balancing the line between being too sentimental and like like not enough. Or it's like people were saying that it was like almost too much, but then it wasn't, I don't know. I thought it was really good, and I thought maybe a little bit too much of the kind of sentimental, kind of mushy kind of stuff, but I, I thought it worked. Uh, it got me a few times. I thought it was you know, a pretty moving film. Dealed very well with loss and stuff like that, and family. I cried once. Connie cried once. Uh, I, lo I loved the ending. The ending was brilliant, and uh, all that, that, the scene at the end. And um, yeah, Matt, yeah da Matt, Matt Damon was the. Who plays the main character? I thought he did a really good job. When I saw the trailers for this, I thought, "Wow, I've got to see that because it's a new Cameron Crowe film." But I thought, "Matt Damon, I don't know if I can buy him in that kind of role." He did great. I really enjoyed him in it. Um, I didn't even see him as Matt Damon. You didn't see him as Matt Damon. Well, no, that's good. I mean... That's a good thing. Uh, and <laughs> poor Matt. Well, no, it's, if you're not thinking about the actor, then that's a, good, a job well done. Uh, and it was funny as well. I just thought it was a great film. Really, really, really enjoyed it. A return to form from Cameron Crowe, I think, and uh, the music was great. I loved the music. Um, I didn't know much of the music, but I just Cameron Crowe always chooses the perfect music for films, um, and that's the probably because he it, it? and that's probably because he grew up as a, a music journalist, so he knows his music and really knows how to use it well in the film. I would give this film, uh, I'd give it a nine out of ten. I think on a second view, I might give it a nine point five, um, and I can see how other people would think that it, it's not. Like an, an amazing 9 out of 10 kind of film, but I really enjoyed it, so. Well, it's really us deciding what it is for ourselves. That's true, it? yeah, I know I get so, hung up sometimes on what other people think, which is, actually, I shouldn't, but. It's your opinion. If it's a 9.5 for you, it's a 9.5 for you. That's true. Um, I was surprised at how good it was because I didn't really expect much. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like, oh yeah, let's watch. We bought a zoo. <laughs> no. Yeah, you know, I wasn't really excited about watching it because I was so Lily, get down now. I was so uh, <laughs> excited about watching the Hunger Games, which we watched right after this movie. Um, so my mind was kind of set on that one. I was just thinking, oh, let's just get this movie over with. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't bored at all. I I loved the acting. I loved the story. It was so. Genuine. Get down now. No reaction. Um. I was. <laughs> I was really moved by a lot of the scenes, and like there were a few like almost like hidden messages in there and stuff, and like with the tiger and stuff. And, uh -huh. I loved it, and I love animals too, and there were some really, really nice shots in there, it kind of inspired me to go to zoom myself and take pictures when I get my awesome Canon camera, mm -hmm. and that would look good on your film camera as well. So and what would you rate uh, it? Lily, get away! What would you rate it? Nine. Nine. <laughs> nine. Okay. I'll give it a nine. Uh, when it comes to, like, drama movies and stuff, I think Warrior was better. Because that one really got to me, and I don't even remember why anymore. <laughs> but uh, this one was really good and all that, and I, I love the fact that it was a real story as well. And that is in England, like we I could actually go and visit. Um, yeah. Great. That little girl, just want to wrap her up and take her home. <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> 